thanks, Fausto. Thanks for the invitation. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, as Fausto mentioned, uh, you know, we uh, developed this uh, this platform. It's, we kind of have an interesting history here. Um, we're actually uh, started off as an HFT firm um, in developing algos uh, for the high frequency environment. And Bookmap, the rudimentary uh, version of Bookmap, was developed to understand like the performance of our um, uh, algos, uh, how how they were performing. And um, uh, we showed this to some other traders, and they looked at it and he said, "Wow, you know, I would buy that." Uh, if you offered it, and that was really the beginning of, of Bookmap, uh, and uh, and then since then, I mean, it's grown into. And you would think like this is only for high frequency. It's not. Uh, you can swing trade with this. Why is that? Is be I'll show you this, and I'll go over the elements in the Bookmap chart. Uh, but why you can swing trade from this is because it's just all of the market data, and it's recorded. It's in the current market and the historical market. So it's recorded and plotted on the chart. It's actually very simple and very straightforward. Okay, so uh, anyway, we're gonna be going and covering, uh, understanding the order flow in Bookmap here and making better trades. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies uh, involves substantial risk of loss and it's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. A little bit about me, a trader of 10 plus years in a variety of markets, uh, order flow specialist here at Bookmap, and I lead the education. Uh, I have expertise in order flow and market microstructure. Um, uh, our Twitter feed at Bookmap underscore pro, YouTube, uh, might want to uh, take a look at some of our videos, uh, search for U Bookmap on YouTube, and then support at bookmap.com is our email. All right, so understanding order flow and book map. Uh, today's agendas go over the three simple elements on the book map chart, understand these elements for stocks and the advantage, and the edge from comprehending the context of these very simple three elements. Okay, who in here has heard of book map before? Uh, who's used book map? Uh, and uh, is there anyone new? Let's just put it this way anyone new, uh, I should say, uh, that uh, has never heard of book map? Okay. All right. So this will be uh, worth it then. Um, yeah. A bunch of you guys are using it too. That's nice. Really nice to hear. Um, uh, so uh, let's, um, let's go over the three elements here uh, and, uh, and, and show you and, and um, uh, uh, talk about that here uh, in book map here. Uh, and we're just going to look at a simple stock to begin with. Uh, and we'll maybe look at, uh, why don't we just start with Apple here. Uh, and uh, this is a nice chart to, to show the advantage of this immediately actually. Uh, and I, I kind of even like shudder to say something like this and make these kinds of statements of like, if you get this software, you're going to have an advantage immediately. And here's why. Here's 930 right here. We can zoom in here. Maybe you're looking at um, uh, your, your levels here. Here's the 930 cash open right here, right? Uh, and you're looking at your levels. Well, where's price going to go? Okay. You already know. Here, right here, liquidity. There's here liquidity, liquidity. And also up at uh, 118, 15, uh, 50, and then also this kind of 35-ish or, or 25-ish area here. Okay, you already know where they are. So if you're bullish and you start to see the momentum, you're looking for the higher liquidity here. And this is where this is where there's sellers. This is where you're going to find sellers. Okay, so that, right off the bat, I mean, and, and we go through this here. I mean, it's just going to go to liquidity. You know, uh, that's just what the market does. Okay? As we go through here, down into liquidity down here. Okay, they actually pull some of that. Okay, if, they, if they're going to pull down here, you know, pull away from the market, well, we're looking for lower level levels of liquidity. Nice area of liquidity down here at this 115, also this 116. 115 traded and transacted here. We're looking for 115. Okay, and that now that transacted. Okay, it's just uh, understanding where the auction is on the higher time frame here. You know, we're talking about the higher time frame, and we're talking about order flow on the higher time frame. Uh, usually, when when you hear traders talk about order flow, uh, they're they're talking about scalping, uh, and they're only looking for like a few ticks or a few points or something like that. Um, well, the reason being is they're looking at your the depth of market, which is this COB column right here. Okay, this is showing you all the liquidity here. These are all the shares at these specific levels here, and this is full depth, right? It's not ten levels or twenty levels. It's full depth. These are several dollars away. Right? and they're all live uh, as well. 
Um, so you can now uh, start to understand this auction on much, much higher time frames. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to cover that advantage immediately, um, and um, uh, so that you guys, uh, uh, you know, can, you know, understand that uh, uh, just with a simple tool uh, is going to give you a lot of insight. Now, you know, you don't have to look at these levels here uh, if you don't want to. But if they start to line up with your FIB levels or whatever it might be, your trend lines or your horizontal lines, uh, and you see a lot of liquidity in here, this is telling you something. This is giving you insight, all right? We even see a flip of the book here from bid to offer. Why did price bounce from here? Because they traded up into this liquidity. We didn't find more buyers, and now we're back down here, okay? And they're again here wanting to buy more at 115. This is really, really simple stuff. Okay, now let's just go over the three elements on this book map chart. And there are only three here. And it's really simple and straightforward. Okay, the one that we've been talking about here has been liquidity. So let me show you how this is derived. Okay, we're gonna zoom in here a little bit. Uh, and um, uh, it's, it's actually uh, very, very simple stuff, right? Uh, this here, this 115 uh, price level, well, we, we know how many shares are there, okay? Now you're gonna see this in your dome or your price ladder or price matrix, whatever it's called. Uh, there's uh, 15,000 15, shares down there, okay, at 115, right? And we know that, right? This is just fact. Now you're gonna see that in your dome too, but see how these numbers are changing really rapidly here in your dome? Okay, well, that's, that's uh, once they change, there's no update or I'm sorry, they update immediately. There's no recording. Yeah, I see Bruce is up. Uh, let, let, let Bruce know that we lost sound. Yeah. Give him a second. A little bit of noise there. That was the street sweeper. So um, uh, sorry about that. Um, uh, in, anyway, York. yeah, I, I know. They um, clean the streets in New York? Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thursdays and, and Wednesdays. Um, so uh, anyway, the um, uh, it's all recorded. All the, all, the, all of this changes here that you see, all these minute changes in here, well, let's just zoom in here. This is what it looks like, right? Here it is, okay, it's all recorded. Here's how it's done. See, see the, uh, we're not gonna cover the other col columns right now. We're just gonna go over the COB column. This is the current order book. Uh, the numerical values up here, well, these are shares at these specific price levels. This is your auction. Limit sell orders. Down below, limit buys. Okay. Now look down here now that it went from 15,000 to like, uh, you know, about 9,000 shares. Okay. So they're pulling, right? They don't, or this is 05. I'm sorry. We're looking at uh, uh, 1500. They're actually adding more down here. Um, so um, uh, anyway, what we do uh, in Bookmap is we take these values here and we transform into a heat map. When the numbers change, the heat map changes. That's it. So you can see the scale of the heat map up here in the top center of the chart, red, orange, very high liquidity, then yellow, white, blue, and then black is least, least amount of liquidity. And it's all recorded though and plotted on the chart. So when you're looking at your dome, you're looking at something separate from price action. In book map, it's all included in the composite on the chart. Okay, Here, here's your dome Okay, on the chart in the heat map form. And we know exactly what was going on in these areas. This is just fact. It's not an indicator, it's just fact. This is market data, very simple market data. And look at some of these areas in here. Did they transact? Look at, look at high liquidity in here, and you can see it transact into that area here. We know all the details. Okay? We can even see algorithmic activity in here. Uh, you can see some of it in here. Okay? See how this guy, this has got to be the same player. Okay? a minute here let me just zoom a little bit see how there's high liquidity here and they pull and they add higher pull add higher pull add higher etc all the way up to here and then transacts it looks like maybe here and maybe here as well all right this is an algo and this is an individual player chasing the market they may be trying to spoof as well okay to me it looks like this guy's actually uh, uh, probably trying to get out um but um uh, a spoof, they, they have very, very high liquidity with no intent to trade whatsoever. And they're just trying to skew the auction uh, to their benefit to show massive demand or massive supply. Okay. All right, so anyway, that's just one element here on this book map chart. There's still two more. Uh, one, uh, well, actually let's take the, vault, the um, heat map off here and we won't look at the order. 
So now we're flying blind, basically. We don't have any clue about the transactions or the auctions within this area.